A very, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Uh, what a bright way to start a brand new experience. Yes, today we all are here for a very special reason. Definitely we are going to talk about it so in a while. But before that, as we can see, we have a few special guests today, right here, right now with us. Talking about them, uh, he is my favorite, he is everyone's favorite, he is like the ever shining sun. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a huge round of applause, Mr. Mahesh Bhatt. <laughs> and uh, we also got... One more special guest. Uh, I still remember when I was in school that uh, film came Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi. And uh, everyone, I was in a girls' school, all the girls went mad. Who is this charming guy? Yes, I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dino Moria. So please welcome with a huge round of applause, Mr. Dino Moria. Please take this. It's a very special moment, it's a very special day. As we know today, we are here for the book launch, uh, talking about the book. Uh, fiction is a way of storytelling with imaginary people in imaginary circumstances and its power is immense. The characters become a part of life, they surround you, love you, haunt you and many a times influence you. The author of Introspection has crafted the tale with the purpose of depicting some of the conjectures ingrained in our society using the predisposing power of fiction. The vivid journey of Arushi and Aniket is extremely relatable. After a blissful courtship period, they finally tied the knot. And she shifted, and they shifted Kolkata, from Kolkata to Mumbai. Life was beautiful, but how long? And to know the answer, I definitely have to come to you, Aritra. We are going to talk about it. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to share a few things about our author, Aritra Sen Gupta. Aritra, Aritra is a very special lady. She's my favorite because Aritra is a chemical engineer by profession and author and blogger by passion. She works with Reliance Industries Limited as senior technologist. Aritra has a website called Tends to Tell where she shares her travel diaries and voices her protest. Around three years back, she had embarked his journey of introspection with the perspective of using the power, the fiction to convey social messages. She went an entwining tale of varied characters with different perspective towards life. She has devised the tale in the manner that it caters to popular taste and subtly delivers the messages it intends to. She believes that narration should be lucid and enriching and that is just the beginning, trust me. She will continue to narrate forever and touch millions of hearts. So, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for the author, Aritra Sengupta. And uh, finally, we got our special guest, and obviously, Aritra, and because of her today, we all are here. So, the moment is here, the time has come. So, let's unveil the book. The moment is here, ladies and gentlemen. I would also uh, like to call Malini. Malini, wherever you are, please join us here. Yeah, Malini, please join. She's from the publisher side. She's from Become Shakespeare. Malini, please come over, guys, please. Okay. Hi, Malini, Become Shakespeare. Hi. So, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got the book, Introspection. Please put your hands together. 
Yes. Let's the journey begin. And uh, this is a completely new journey. We finally got introspection. Talia, thoda zor dar ho jaye. Piche, jo bhi hai, sab se request kar rahi hu main. Yes, that's the spirit. Introspection by Auditor Sen Gupta. I would also request we have uh, in the house a lady who is also a great writer. Suri Dadi, please join us here. I would also like to call Suri Dadi here. Please come here, Surita Ji. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Yeah, all of you want to group for that. Yeah, all of you want to Okay, thank you so much everyone. The floor will be open very soon for the media question and uh, questions and all. So right now I have few questions and as I said that we got few very special guests here. So I have to ask few questions to them. So, Aritra, as I said, I have to come to you to talk about the book. So, so please uh, say a few things about the book. I already read it. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. Question. And before answering it, I would like to thank uh, Mahesh Ji and Dino Ji for coming here and also the entire media, Malini from my uh, publishing site, for gracing this occasion. It's such a wonderful day for me and I cannot express in words. Uh, well, uh, to talk about my book, uh, it's been like I've always wanted to write something and around three years back, uh, I had started with this journey of introspection. Uh, basically, I always, uh, I have always related to fiction. I think fiction uh, is a medium by which uh, the characters become palpable, and through them, I can uh, subtly give certain messages, catering to pub, uh, popular uh, taste as well. So uh, this book is about Aniket and Arushi and their evocative journey, how they fall in love, how they get married and come in Bombay, and life was blissful, but how long? As she said, but how long? Um, Things changed and personalities altered as hard reality attacked their dreams. Uh, as Aniket, who is extremely careerist, faces an unprecedented downfall in his career graph, his persona goes, uh, uh, undergoes a radical change. Uh, addiction and uh, uh, addiction, depression changes him into a draconian, and Arushi, from a distance, witnesses him not do anything. But then you may ask, what's new? Uh, the newness of the book is, it is not about Aniket. It is about the Aniketes, it is about the Aniketes of the society and how Aniketes are created. It is about the conjectures which are ingrained in the mind, nascent mind and how it is transferred from generation to generation. So it's my subtle attempt to give the messages through fiction which has a predisposing power, I believe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I think the relatability uh, is something that uh, made me choose the subject. Thank you so much, sir. I'll, uh, I would love to ask you one question. I know you read a lot and uh, maybe every kind of thing, but uh, uh, what kind of books attract you as a reader, particularly? Like what type of stories or what type of book you prefer to read? Well, I don't have one specific space that I kind of the wall. I, I read, I'm a book junkie. Always just love books. And um, I nowadays read less of fiction. And I read more of the memoirs and Because 
the fiction, the real, the abundant fiction has been created now by the, the web space and audiovisual content that falls into our homes. Uh, but yes, uh, there are certain books that suddenly strike you, that have you, but those are very rare. But what is heartening is to see young writers who come from Kolkata, a chemical engineer, she goes to Reliance, to Surat, and comes to Mumbai, and the herbs who tell stories, and he compels her to put pen to paper, pen to paper is an old reference, I mean, it must have worked on your iPad, maybe your, your smartphone, and you finally have come up with this. And anybody who thinks uh, this is an ordinary achievement does not know what writing is. It's only he who has written knows how difficult it is to write. It's only writers who respect writing of any and every kind. So I'm very happy that we have uh, people, women, young women, who are stretching themselves, who, who kind of make their kind of end speech through the different platform of the you're an engineer, but you still have this overriding need to write. And I think that's what makes you special. And my boss, Lars Kustanthal, my began my first career in Ireland, but he was saying that it's easy for a filmmaker lie in his biography or his memoir. But when he comes to fiction, you can't lie. A, a writer gets completely stripped off all the tenses and is revealed for what he is. So I bet this movie, uh, this book, though it's called fiction, has a lot of you in it. And, and you don't have to be a genius to detect what is it. At times, people take uh, use fiction as a big leaf to tell their own stories. And that's what uh, is so curious. And you don't need psychiatrists once you have bled on the page, as I say, you're purged of that particular ailment that is kind of not getting I it's a very, very brave endeavor of yours, and I congratulate you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now I'd love to ask you the same question. Well, yeah. I actually took a book from Barsa called The Autobiography of Cocaine, which was... You gave it after 10 years. And I kept it. And then I read it. But, uh, searching the cover. No, I did not. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I gave it your nephew more. Uh, I read a lot. Uh, me too. Less of fiction now and more biographies, autobiographies, memoirs, uh, those kind of stories. But having said that, what's interesting is that I would like to congratulate this chemical engineer now writing about chemistry and relationships in books huh? is really, really interesting. So we'd love to read the perception and, and, and understand what the book is all about. But nevertheless, having said that, like what Sal says, it takes a lot. It's, it's, it takes someone really great to come here and, and write and actually get their book published. And congratulations, and I, and I hope it goes really well for you. And good luck in the future for this. So much, uh, Anita, I want to ask you, uh, so I'm thankful uh, to this uh, page fabulous, uh, our very partner, for giving us this cozy and beautiful venue. So, basically, a huge round of applause for fabulous. So, now the floor is open for media people. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. So, please, people, join me in this round. Tonight, the floor is open. इंट्रोस्पेक्शन एक ऐसी किताब है जिसको आप जरूर पढ़िए क्योंकि एक नौजवान पीढ़ी की 
दिल की आवाज आपको इसमें सुनाई देगी अरित्रा जी जो कलकत्ता से सूरत होते हुए मुंबई आई हैं उनके अंदर वो आग थी उन्होंने जाकर पब्लिशर को खोजा और आखिरकार अपने दिल की बात जो है लफ्जों के जरिए आप तक पहुंचाई है और ये एक वाकई मुबारक दिन है कि आपके बीच एक नौजवान पीढ़ी की एक नई आवाज मौजूद है और हिंदुस्तान की खासियत यही है कि आप का रोजमर्रा का काम कुछ भी हो आप हाउस वाइफ हो आप केमिकल इंजीनियर हो मगर आपके अंदर कहानी सुनने और कहने का अगर जज्बा हो तो आप यकीनन वो प्यास पूरी कर सकते हैं और मेरी बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद है मेरी तरफ से बिकम शेक्सपियर पब्लिक शेक पब्लिशिंग हाउस है उन्होंने सुना के एक पूरे प्रोसेस के बाद में ये पुस्तक जो है पब्लिश की है पाँच हज़ार जो हैं पोटेंशियल राइटर्स जो थे उन्होंने अपना अपना जो सैंपल भेजा था इनको और उनमें से ये चुनी गई हैं तो थैंक यू फॉर सपोर्टिंग यू टैलेंट सर डेली लाइफ में आप बुक पढ़ना बहुत पसंद करते हैं तो कैसे टाइप के आपको बहुत पसंद है डेली लाइफ में आप मैं फिक्शन बहुत कम पढ़ता हूँ मगर मेमोर्स और करंट अफेयर्स की बिहाइंड द सीन जानकारी हासिल करने के लिए स्पेशलिस्ट के पर्सपेक्टिव से जिंदगी को समझने की कोशिश ओके सर आपने कोई पैरा या कुछ पढ़ा है ये बुक के बारे में या ये एक अवसर है जब हम आकर नौजवान पीढ़ी के राइटर्स को सपोर्ट करते हैं क्योंकि एक लेखक ही समझ सकता है कि लिखना कितना मुश्किल काम है और ख़ास करके आज की तारीख में जहाँ पर आप व्हाट्सएप पे मैसेजिंग करते हैं और कागज़ और कलम इस्तेमाल ही नहीं करते हैं तो मेरा ये मानना है कि जब भी आपको कोई आपके आसपास एक ऐसा व्यक्ति मिले जिसके अंदर कहानी कहने की क्षमता है तो उसे सपोर्ट जरूर कीजिए तो मैं इनको सपोर्ट करने आया सर आपको अगर मौका मिले अपना आप, आपकी बायोपिक करने या ऐसा आपको लिखने अपने ऊपर तो आपकी जर्नी के बारे में आपको लिखना चाहिए मैंने अपनी सारी जिंदगी जो भी किया अपनी जिंदगी से हासिल करके ही किया है फिल्में बनाई हैं और जो अपने जीवन पर आधारित थी और वो फिल्मों के लिए पहले लिखना पड़ता फिर फिल्में बनती हैं मगर हाँ ये जिसका जिक्र कर रहे हैं आप कि क्या मेरी जिंदगी की जो सच्चाइयाँ हैं वो किसी बुक फॉर्म में कभी आएंगी यकीन न आएंगी हमारे साथ सुनीता जो जी आई हैं जो लेखक हैं जो हम मेरे साथ आ, काम कर रही हैं वो एक प्रोसेस में बहुत ही शिद्दत से इन्वॉल्व है कि वो मेरी जिंदगी को एक बुक फॉर्म में रिप्रोड्यूस करके पेश करें एक राइटर कभी होता नहीं है दुनिया में अलग अलग मुख्तलिफ़ किस्म के लोग हैं और उनके दृष्टि से हमने जिंदगी को चखा है तो कोई एक व्यक्ति का नाम लेना और इतने बड़े क्षेत्र को एक व्यक्ति के सोच से में ही बांध देना अन्याय होगा इतने विराट एक स्पेस के साथ मुझे लगता है ये बुक लॉन्च का एक प्लेटफॉर्म है जहाँ पर हमें पुस्तक से संबंधित ही सवाल पूछने चाहिए और जवाब देने चाहिए क्योंकि हम जानते हैं कि ऐसे सवाल जो हैं आपकी सुर्खियाँ जो है बन जाती हैं मगर मेरा जो इंटेंशन है आके एक नौजवान लेखक को सपोर्ट करने का है इसलिए मैं इस पर कोई कमेंट नहीं करूँगा जब बायसेज ऑन रियलिटी एंड दैट्स वॉट राइटर्स डील विथ विद इन दम सेल्स एंड ऑल्सो आउटसाइड एंड दे ट्राई टू reconstruct them battle with them and uh, create fictional uh, endings which perhaps are difficult to create in day to day life so as they say a writer is a fairer god what is not possible in real life a writer achieves in his own universe so, so will you make a film on this novel i've not even read 
the novel. I find the idea very engaging. But uh, every book that we read, we do not look at it through the prism of converting it into a film. As I said, I've come here to applaud a young talent because I think it is very difficult in this age and time, especially in this attention deficit era where people do not have time to concentrate, to have a young writer pull out a story after doing a job which is from a different field of being an engineer. So it's an extraordinary achievement and I've come here to applaud it. Introspection. <laughs> Introspection, I haven't read it yet, but I would like to say that I would like to congratulate uh, Ritra Ji for the release of this book. Jaisa Bhatt Sahib ne kaha, kitab likhna bhoot mushkil chiz hai, koi hasan baat nahi hai. Aur jo inka publisher hai, unhane kaha ki paanch azhar kahaniyon mein se ये एक चुन ये कहानी चुन चुकी है तो आई थिंक इट्स इट्स अ बिग अ बिग स्टेप एंड मुबारक बात मैं उनको देना चाहता हूँ। सो सो हाउ मच यू लव टू रीड बुक्स? आई आई एन्जॉय रीडिंग बुक्स और जैसे बसाब ने कहा कि आजकल जो अटेंशन डेफिसिट जेनरेशन है क्योंकि आजकल सोशल मीडिया और जो टेक्नोलॉजी के जरिए but I enjoy reading books. What type of books do you read? I read non-fiction. Yes. I mean, I like I like biographies. Like, for instance, the latest I've read is Elon Musk and his story. So, I like it. Biopic is a trend. So, I mean, biopic. Do you want to write or in the picture? Yes. If there is a role, किरदार है जो मैं निभाना चाहता हूँ। बरसाब बोलिए सजेस्ट। बरसाब, बरसाब की ज़िंदगी तो तू जो है। हाँ, वो तो कर ले, कर लेता हूँ सर, कर लेता हूँ। So yes, I'd like to play बरसाब's life because बरसाब has had a fantastic life and a very colourful life. And he's still under work in progress. और वो भी चालू है। Inspiration तो society से ही मिला है, society से relatable story है। तो inspiration is all the people around me, they have inspired me, and of course I've always had this intention to write a book जिसके through में ये messages दे पाऊँ, लेकिन at the same time वो पढ़ने में भी लोगों को शायद अच्छी लगे, तो I tried giving certain messages in through fiction. That was the intention and that was the inspiration as well. So being an engineer, then how come a writer? Yeah, actually that is a very tough task, and for that I have to give certain credit to my husband. Abhishek, he's there, he's taking pictures. So uh, he has been really supportive because after coming from office, it's not an easy task to write a book, but thanks to the support I get from him. There are many. Sir, like you said, one of the names of one of the names is There are many favorite writers and I love, uh, I love reading as such. There are many. Look, uh, research in the sense, yes, I did a, a lot of research because I had a little part of psychiatry involved. So, I did a little bit of research on the internet and a little bit of research on the internet. But the rest of the things are fictional, imaginary, and a little bit of influence on the people of the world. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.